topic. This is the topic of acylations. Uh, acylation, sorry. Uh, we will look at structures of acid anhydrides and acid chlorides. And the main theme of this topic is the nucleophilic addition elimination mechanism for the reactions of acyl chlorides with water, alcohols, ammonia, and primary amines. So now, first of all, let's look at the structure of acyl chlorides. Acyl chlorides have carbonyl compounds, and we have already looked at some of the family of uh, carbonyl compounds like carboxylic acids, uh, uh, aldehydes, and ketones. So the thing I want you to focus on is this one, that this is the carbonyl group. And if I put a hydrogen here, it becomes an aldehyde. If instead of that hydrogen, we put an OH, it becomes a carboxylic acid. So it's this attachment to the right of this carbonyl compound we're interested in. So acyl chloride will have a chlorine attached. This makes this acyl chloride really polar. It has a CO bond and it has a CCL bond. What is acylation then? And this is just to reiterate, you can see an ester has OCR attached, uh, OR there. This Cl makes it acyl chloride and acid anhydride we will look at in a, in a bit. Uh, this slide just looks at how to make acyl chloride. It's not a requirement on the AQA syllabus. So I will just leave the slide and you can look at this in your own time. Okay. You can see now this carbonyl group is very polar and therefore it will be attacked this carbon will be attacked by a nucleophile like water acyl chlorides are <coughs> one of the most reactive organic compounds you will come across and that reason is because of the very polar carbonyl group and the cl attached here which gives it extra reactivity. So in general, they will undergo an addition elimination reaction. The nucleophile will replace this chlorine and then the other product will be HCl. So the reaction is really nasty reaction because um, the outcome is vigorous, misty. The reaction is vigorous and you will get misty white fumes given off because of HCLs. It's a really nasty reaction of acyl chlorides. Acyl chlorides hydrolyze in water very quickly and that's why acyl chloride will not be used in a lab situation. Okay. Of the nucleophiles, then the primary amine is the best nucleophile, then ammonia, then alcohol and then water. You will get the idea of why primary amines are good nucleophiles later on when you study the topic of amines. So I don't want to dwell on that topic at this stage. Okay, now let's look at the difference between acyl chlorides and acid anhydrides. Acyl chlorides, you can quickly see there's a Cl attached to the carbonyl. However, what is an acid anhydride? Simply, an acid anhydride is two carboxylic acids joined together. So look here. That's uh, two carboxylic acids there. So two uh, ethanoic acids. And then what we will do is let's knock off this hydrogen here. And let's knock off this OH here. And um, because water is eliminated, and then join these two together. When you join these two together, then that is the top carboxylic acid, the ethanoic acid there. And then the bottom one here will join on 
to the first part and there is your acid and hydride and that's how it's joined you do not need to know the uh, mechanism at this stage for the formation of acid and hydride okay let's move on then acyl chloride just a recap of what it is but the naming of it is important so the ending here would be oil so ethan oil chloride one two three propan propan oil chloride that's the naming of it so the naming is not too difficult now the key things i want to focus on is the mechanism and that's really where i want to spend a couple of minutes on now key reactions then when the nasal chloride reacts with water it forms a carboxylic acid and hcl is given off when the nasal chloride reacts with alcohol it forms an ester hcl acyl chloride with ammonia you form an amine that should say amine not amide you should say amine and hcl sorry 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 we're using um, ammonia with uh, with acyl chloride forms an amide sorry not amine amide it does form an amide that's right and acyl chloride reacting with primary amine forms what we call an n substituted amine a amide and in each case hcl is your second product so hcl is eliminated in the case of acid anhydrides the the second product will be carboxylic acid so hence uh, acid anhydrides are pre preferred because um, the second product is a carboxylic acid and carboxylic acid is less vigorous than hcl hcl in this case is an acidic gas of white misty fumes which is quite nasty okay let's look at the mechanism then okay so in terms of the mechanism um, i'll add on i think what i'll do is let me add a slide here in order to uh, look at the mechanism uh, with yourselves here so i'll just add a new slide here and there's my slide and let's look at a mechanism so let's go back let's bring in my highlighter and i will use a pen okay so acyl chloride Now, oxygen is the most electronegative element here. So the first step will be a movement of electrons from the middle of the bond between towards the oxygen. Let's use methyl amine as my uh, nucleophile. And remember, a nucleophile will attack the delta plus carbon. So the nitrogen has the lone pair. So a curly arrow from the lone pair on the nitrogen to the carbon this step of the mechanism is same as any nucleophilic attack on the carbon whether it's nucleophilic substitution or really nucleophilic addition because a nucleophile attacks a carbon and uh, if i give you the example of halogenoalkanes then if you remember the chlorine is more electronegative so that takes the electrons and then a nucleophile comes along like ammonia and that attacks the delta plus carbon so you can see a lot of similarities between the two okay so that one is already done now let's look at the intermediate now please remember it's a nucleophilic addition addition elimination reaction so this first part this step one that's your addition now let's look at the intermediate here the oxygen has gained a, a pair of electrons is that okay the cl stays where it is the ch3 nothing happens to that in almost all cases in organic chemistry mechanism and then the nitrogen adds here 
part of the amine and nitrogen one two three four bonds so it's a positive intermediate now i'm going to do this in one step the chlorine leaves so there the movement of electrons between ccl chlorine leaves the lone pair on the oxygen goes back in to form the double bond and one of the nitri uh, sorry one of the hydrogens will leave so there it is three three arrows for that and there's your product now ch3 co chlorine's gone and we will call this plus hcl remember this h and this cl combined to form hcl and how we will how will we name this this is an amide link and this is what an amide link looks like so that is an amide link and we will call this n methyl there n methyl again please note that when you study the chemistry of amines you will do the naming of amines and amides so i will not dwell into the names or naming of these and then it's ethanamide ethan amide and there's the mechanism and then you've got a nice step there to show you how the mechanism leaf uh, is done there now the other mechanisms you can do yourselves in terms of water so if i stay on here the way water will attack then is look there's your oxygen h2o what happens here there's your oxygen there's your two o's and then what do we form we form a carboxylic acid nothing changes okay if i want to if i want to now um, change this to let's say um, another mechanism another um, uh, nucleophile let's change this to uh, alcohol so look OH CH3OH so all you have here don't need that there do you can you just see what's happening I'm only changing the nucleophile and then what's my product the product will be methyl ethanoate and that's pretty much it really for um, acyl chlorides um, just showing you how acid and hydrides are formed now you can practice the mechanisms yourself it's a nice summary of the reactions what happens when acyl chloride reacts with water with alcohol with ammonia and with primary amines you can freeze the the uh, video at this stage to look at these reactions again i'm not going into these reactions in detail and lastly what i just want to look at is the applications acyl chloride is difficult to handle they react readily and vigorously with water to produce corrosive hcl which is white misty fumes please make a note of that white misty fumes so we will use acid anhydrides which are less corrosive cheaper to produce don't react with water easily and produce carbon ethanoic acid which is safer than hcl thank you very much for this video uh, like i said i'm just going to go quickly go back to this this slide because i think this slide is essential to know the reactions of acyl chloride because you do need to know the conditions and the equations but the mechanism is essential and that's a nice summary for you of acyl chlorides and thank you for watching.